Corley, first day of pre-season, how was it? Yeah, um, really nice to come back in and see all the lads and, and the staff again. Uh, it's been a tough day. Um, yeah, been, been a bit been a bit difficult, but it's what we was expecting and uh, look forward to the weeks coming up. It's quite a hot one today, difficult conditions for you? Yeah, a few lads have been saying it's been raining in the last few weeks and the day that we come back in, it's it's uh, glorious sunshine, so, but uh, no, it's been good. We just started off with a uh, little bit of football uh, to get our legs going and then uh, we sort of went into a bit like an assault course really, but with a, with a football and sort of over hurdles and through, through hoops and stuff and then uh, the other lads did some running. Uh, and then we switched over and then uh, we went into a 12 minute possession at the end. So it's been a tough day. A couple of trips to look forward to, Cork and then the Algarve, looking forward to those? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've got five days here I think and then we go to, to Cork next week. Um, so that'll be, that'll be good, I think we've got a few games out there that uh, we've got to prepare for. And then uh, like you say, we'll go out to Portugal after that and, and train out there and I think we've got a few more games out there as well. And when we're back here, we've got Brighton and then Crystal Palace in friendlies. That's the FA Cup finalists and a team who did very well last season. So good tests. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we played Palace last pre-season, didn't we? So uh, we know what they'll be like and, uh, and we'll, we'll make sure we're ready for them games. I know you had a look at the fixture list. What do you make of it? Yeah, um, a bit excited about the first game. I think everyone is. Uh, it's on telly and uh, Newcastle are a massive club. So. Um, it'd be a great game, but all the fixtures are, are going to be tough this season and uh, we've got to make sure we're ready for them games. I remember you making your home debut for following against Newcastle and you had a good game, didn't you? Yeah, uh, yeah, my first ever game at Raven Cottage was against them, so um, it'd be nice to, to, for them to come down to the cottage again and, and hopefully we play well and I think we beat them last time, so nice to beat them again. Yeah. And Newcastle are one of three good teams that come down from the Premier League, so we know it's going to be a lot of competition in the Championship, but we've got a lot of confidence in our own ability as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, the manager's starting the season with us and he'll make sure we're ready for them games. And uh, and, and like you say, there's three, three really good sides that have come down from the Premier League So and also teams that have come up from, from Division 1. So the t I think the league's getting stronger and stronger every year. So uh, we, we, we'll, be, we'll be strong, we'll be ready for, ready for them teams. You were away with the 21s this uh, summer with England. Um, obviously the senior squad are through to the, the last 16. How do you see that going against Iceland tonight? Yeah, um, I think England are in a really strong position and hopefully they can get the win tonight. I think obviously they're the favourites to win, so um, fingers crossed they can do that. But I just wish the boys the luck and hopefully they get the win they deserve. You've been watching the previous games on your holidays? Yeah, um, I was away for, for all the England games, but I've been watching them abroad and in Spain and in Dubai, so um, they've looked good and hopefully they can continue that. Obviously pleased for Jazz and Jaws, but um, hopefully Wales don't do better than England. Fingers crossed. <laughs>